Health officials call a PCR test the golden standard, but they also say that test may not always be the best choice for your situation. Consider a rapid antigen test. Both of the tests are very good tests. Um, they just have to be used in the way that they were designed for it. Dr. Jenny Bowes with St. Luke's Health System says the difference between a PCR test and antigen test is their sensitivity to the virus. A PCR test is very sensitive to COVID. Meanwhile, an antigen test is less sensitive and only picks up the virus at a higher level. If you've been exposed um, and maybe you don't have symptoms, but you know that you've had a direct exposure from someone that has had the virus, then uh, PCR is really the best test to take. Dr. Bowes says a PCR test is the way to go if you've been exposed and don't have symptoms. But she says it's better to take an antigen test over a PCR test if you do have symptoms. Bowes says sometimes people can test positive up to four months using a PCR test because of its sensitivity to the virus. That's why after five to 10 days, an antigen test is a better option. She says after having COVID for several days, someone could be infected, but not infectious. After you've tested positive, then it really is, you can still transmit some of that virus. It's just that viral load that is typically referred to isn't as potent. And so if you're wearing a mask, then you really aren't likely to spread the virus to other people, but in the level that um, would put them at significant risk. Tia Johnson, Fox 4, working for you.